Welcome to Basic and Advanced Acting Techniques in Film and Television for Children and Young Adults. This three-part DVD series was written by your instructor for today, Mr. Frank Rossi. Trained by legendary acting teachers Stella Adler, Oscar winner Bobby Moresco, among others. Frank is a former acting coach of Jim Caviezel, star of Mel Gibson's The Passion. Mr. Rossi has also taught hundreds of other actors, young and old from around the world. Hollywood mogul manager Beverly Dean, current manager of Jim Caviezel and former child stars Reese Witherspoon, Tara Reid, Jessica Biel, Jason and Jeremy London, to name a few, says this of Frank. This DVD series is a must for all young actors. Frank is a gifted artist with an incredible knack for teaching the basics of acting and beyond. He is absolutely fabulous with kids. Now, let's become that animal. And in your chairs, take on the physical mannerisms of that animal. Do the movement and the sound. And don't hold back. You guys at home, same thing. Do the animal sounds and do the physical movement. Go. Okay, now, we're at the top of the hill. It's a 10,000 foot drop. How do you feel in one word? Erica. Scared. Alex. Frightened. Des. Terrified. Okay, here we go, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go! Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Hug! You should hug now because it's like that. Now, the purpose of this is to read what the other person's doing underneath. Red light, green light doesn't mean anything. But it was like, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. Then you were like, cool. You're excited. I'm excited. Let's give a I hug. I have a picture of my two dogs that passed away. How does that make you feel? Um, upset, but it also brings back good memories and fun memories of them. Maybe somebody passed away in the movie you're playing. Maybe a parent in the movie died. Your parents are both alive. How do you know what that means? You could substitute those dogs if you had to play a scene where the, where the dad died. Stanislavski, which is the father of all modern acting from Russia, he believed an actor needed to take emotion and personality to the stage and call upon it when playing their character and believed that emotional memory was one way to do it. Personal. Use emotion. If you look at the seven steps to building a character on page 10, the first step, step one, read the material over. Step three, you read through the material very closely using a pen or pencil to make notes in a separate notebook. All this because his mother was dissed. Strong emotional ties to his mom, right guys? You've all read Baker's So what staff. does that tell us about this guy? Alex, he's what? He's uh, fearless. Right. He's courageous, he's brave. Whatever TV shows, whatever film things you guys see, they usually put out a breakdown. Let's just go through the breakdown. See at the top it says Bakerstown. That means step four in the seven steps that I'm teaching here. Interview the person, there's nothing better than that if you can find them. A day in a life I like to call it. Eat breakfast with them. You see what they eat. You see how fast they eat, how slow they eat, how are they when they first wake up? A great way to learn about your character is to go online and do research. An example for Big E, here I've shown you guys how to do an internet search. Father Baker, that's the guy Literary that regression. A very, very, very big step in acting, building a character. Literary regression means going back to their past and learning about what things motivated them. Because you're playing real people, so you have to build the character as a real person. And literary regression is a way to do it. So do you see how it all comes together now? Emotions, because you need emotional tools for acting. Build a character. Now let's put it into play and figure out how to break it down, how to audition, and how to play the character. Here's what he's done. He's come in with his uniform on. Like he just got out, he just got done with the game. That's a good choice. He's got rubber spikes on. You moved in, didn't you? Now you use the room. And you came in. I'm doing the same thing with the football. Uh-uh, not Coach Ross. He wouldn't diss us like that. How you feel. How you feel. You can use the football to show emotionally. We do three specific things in my classes. Three things when I teach actors, when I'm coaching them for auditions. You come in from somewhere that nobody else will. 
You bring something that makes sense in the scene. In this case, you can come in like that. And then eventually, when you feel comfortable enough, you come back with the football, and you come in like this, and you just place it there for her. I want you to have that, because you know, my mom gave that to me when I was eight and stuff, and I just wanted you to have it, because I may not see you again. Guys at home, it shows the director you know what you're doing. See, try it again. We'll go through it step by step. Go get him, kid. I see you too, Mrs. Stevens. Thanks, Martin. Bye. Shut up, Tommy. We'll get you guys again next time. There's all the better right now. Hey, Danny. Oh. Oh. We smoke those losers. You got that right. We took them to the cleaners. That catch you made in the end zone? That was awesome. You really think so? Anybody been on an audition where there's a camera? Camera's right here. You don't never, you're never looking at the camera, but you can't move, can you? So what can you do if the camera's right here? And as you get more and more comfortable and the camera's on you, it'll be probably from here up, then you start taking out the football maybe, and you can play with the ball. See? Then if you're feeling like, like nervous or something, you can just tap it a little bit. And then, and then see what I'm doing? So I can do all that emotion, guys, with the bag and the ball right here. You use activities because it takes you off the lines, and you can't, you don't anticipate the next lines. It makes you go moment to moment. I know a lot of you guys out there go on auditions and they want to see monologues, right? All of us always should keep a comedy and a drama monologue in our pockets. Yeah. Okay. Showing up paying that three thousand dollar suit, charming your ladies, making your deals on the wild list the whole time. I guess that's okay, you know. Man's gotta eat, right? And after you're gone tomorrow. You better believe we will survive. So why don't you go over to the church and donate a couple of extra shovels, you know, to make yourself feel good. And then go back to your tall blonde and your cushy penthouse in New York City. Some people like to teach from the outside in. I like to teach from the inside out. You have to know who you are first. Three specific choices you make that other people won't make. That's what gets you the call back and possibly the job. How many people are excited to work in the business? That's what I want to hear. Some really good actors, even your ages out there. There's some good kids around this country that can act. Okay, my job is to make you guys that I teach that good or better.